The Flash's top 7 abilities, here we go. Starting off at number 7, we have Speed Force Awareness slash Temporal Awareness. Now, this is the ability for Barry to sense the Speed Force in a Speedster system, and or if a Speedster with the Speed Force in their system time travels and alters the timeline. Now, the reason this is at number 7 is because Barry hasn't really used this ability since Season 5, at least not to my knowledge. Uh, when he returned Nora back to her original timeline and told her that if she tried, if she tried to time travel back, he would know. And also, I don't think it's that powerful of an ability as well, because what's that really going to do? Like, I'm pretty sure he can sense if someone tries to time travel, but it's not as if he can really intercept, um, intercept them in the midst of time traveling. So, if anything, I'll imagine Barry can understand. Or realize if someone is trying to access the, access the time stream, but by the time that he already realizes what's going on, it would have already altered the timeline. And I also assume that not many speedsters that use um, the speed force are going to be villains. I assume that most speed force users are actually heroes or definitely not villains. Moving on to number six, we have Aerokinesis. This is the ability to manipulate airflow for different effects, such as tornadoes, vortexes, and extinguishing fire, fires and things of a sort. So I think this is a really powerful ability, ability of Barry Allen's. Uh, I just don't think it's quite strong enough yet compared to the other abilities, but it's certainly useful in crime fighting um, as an offensive, as an offensive or defensive. For example, he has used this to save um, Linda Park, I think, and Wally West from plummeting to their deaths after being thrown off of buildings. So, yeah. Moving on to number five, we have Accelerated Healing Factor. This is Barry's ability to heal at an extraordinary rate, faster than any regular human being. Uh, proof of this is like season one, when he broke his hand um, in the first episode after running into light this um bur i forgot what it was into these objects and his hand healed in like two hours and him also getting a, sh a piece of shrapnel in his thigh and he healed that he healed from that also so this is a really op ability the ability to heal from most injuries that aren't life-threatening in the span of just a few hours is really powerful is a really powerful ability to have because you never know what happens when you're crime fighting um, punches may not affect Barry that significantly, and if if it does, if it does hinder him, he will definitely recover from it. He even broke his back and came back in like one week, I think. So yeah, moving on to number four, we have Speed Mirage. Looking back, I think this should be before Accelerated Healing Factor, but I put this here because it can be a really strong offensive move to distract your opponent. This is the ability for Barry to seemingly appear at two places at once by moving so fast from point A to point B back and forth that he creates an after image of himself. So he appears uh, in two places at once. And we saw Yobarthon Reverse Flash use this in Season 1. And we saw Barry use this in Season 2 against Linda Park and Doctor Light. So this is a pretty OP ab ability. And if you can master this ability, and use it for, for for crime fighting. I don't. I, I imagine that it's uh, going to be pretty useful. Moving on to number three, we have phasing, vibration, flash, invisibility. So I have grouped them all together because to me they they are all sort of alike in abilities. So Barry can phase. He can go through objects in tangibility. He can also vibrate like his body um, to phase through things, but just to create that blur effect when someone tries to look at him or something like that and he can also vibrate so fast when standing still that he appears invisible now this is also a pretty op ability in my opinion because he can use this let's just say someone is robbing like a, a store whether it's like a low level villain or a very top tier villain and he can just run in there without the knowledge and turn invisible by vibrating so fast and they wouldn't even know and he can just put metacuffs on them when they are distracted or another example of this is when in season four Devo had him locked up in some sort of cage 
and Barry Lewis vibrating so fast that DeVoe thought that he had escaped, but he hadn't. And then that's what allowed Barry to escape from his cell. So I think this is a pretty strong ability because if you can't see someone or touch someone that you're trying to fight, then, you know, the ability to heal fast or be at two places at once, not even, but, and uh, control the airflow wouldn't really be useful, in my opinion. Moving on to number two, we have electrokinesis. This is the ability for Barry to like create speed force constructs and just harness the electricity and the lightning that he generates when he runs. And this is pretty OP as we can see in the most recent seasons, Barry just spams the lightning throw ability. And in the show, I'm not gonna blame him. That is probably his most powerful um, emitting ability. And I'm pretty sure any villain with those set of abilities would use that power. And um, you can also do other things with lightning constructs. You know, Wally showed, I'm pretty sure off screen, Wally taught Barry how to do it as well. But Wally showed himself capable of creating like a lotus flower with lightning. And, you know, it's not just limited to throwing lightning bolts. You can also create a lightsaber made out of lightning and other things like that. And as an extension of this ability is also the speed force aura which prevents Barry from being crushed by a black hole, I'm pretty sure, and which allows him to carry people with him and they don't burn up or get disintegrated. So this is pretty OP in my opinion. And at number one, obviously, superhuman speed, the ability for Barry to run extraordinarily fast. So this is his most prized possession and the strongest power in his arsenal. So yeah. Some honorable mentions that I left out is just time travel and time remnants. The reason I left it out was because Barry doesn't really use time travel anymore and he shouldn't use time travel. This is obviously like one of his best abilities, but if you don't use the ability, then I'm not going to count it as a most powerful ability. Not really. And same with time remnants as well, because that's also risky towards the timeline. But that, yeah, that's about it. Peace. Thanks for watching the video.